press the bell icon on our YouTube app and never miss another video from Spotboy. Karan O'Broy is back after a real long drama and we are thankful to him for doing his first interview in camera with us and uh, we really look forward to talking to you Thank really you, I am I am sure it's been a very tough time for you Karan. It, it has Thank been. you so much for being on Spotboy. No it's um, uh, Vicky I couldn't have said no to you you've been a very very strong pillar of support in terms of uh, in fact of writing about the truth and how this whole thing unfolded um, I think that you've been you've been you know Spotboy has been very very instrumental in that because you know sometimes it's all about but a lot of times people, um, a lot of media people only want to write something which is sensational in nature and they never follow through the truth till the end. So you stuck by that so when my sister told me that uh, Vicky wants to talk to you I said the pleasure would be entirely mine. I think I, I would definitely, I'm so sorry I was a bit under the weather and going through some trauma which is why we couldn't talk earlier but I'm glad I'm speaking to you. So thank you again. Uh, Karan, tell me what exactly happened. I mean, you met her on a dating uh, yes. app, uh, yes. this girl. Yes, absolutely. And uh, so, an association were you happened. looking out for a relationship uh, that time? What no, was I wasn't looking for a relationship, brother. I was um, uh, someone that um, uh, was, um, um, you know, on the first I was there on for curiosity as to, you know, because everyone, everyone who was cool and uber cool was talking about Tinder being the, the latest hookup app. In fact, the first time I heard about hookup, I thought it was a fishing thing. You know, you talk about going fishing together. Uh, clearly, I'm a bit of a geriatric when it comes to these things. Um, so I met her and, and we struck a, a casual friendship. That's how and then we moved to WhatsApp. And, uh, and there is a certain bond that was developed for a very brief period of time because um, a lot of things were misrepresented to me about who and what she was. I was told she's an astrologer. I believe that's what um, has been perpetrated right now about being an astrologer. And little by little, I got to know that you know this person was um, into dark uh, magic, uh, black magic, voodoo and all of that. And that is something that you know a very normal person is very scared of because the whole conversation around you can kill someone, you can control someone, mm -hmm. blood sacrifices, this sacrifice, this lotion, that thing. She well, showed um, you? Uh, yeah, she talked about it, mm -hmm. talked about it a lot. Mm -hmm. And this yeah. is after the friendship had been stuck and that's when I started to kind of you know because take, a back step. take a back step because I'm not the sort of guy, I mean, anyone who's known me for 20 years would know that I would, I, I like, I'm a chirpy, bubbly fellow. I would like to talk about good things, positive things in life. At no point of time have I ever spoken either badly about anyone or have wished anyone ill will. Mm. No matter what. Mm. That's not my grain. Quite unlike in today's world where yeah. everybody's out to, you know, see yeah. each other's downfall. No, not me. I don't enjoy anybody's misfortune. Mm. That'll never, never, that's not my, my, my coding. Mm. I, I would never do that. Irrespective of how much harm or damage they can do to me. Mm. That's not going to happen. So, um, and then like I said, subsequently this became an obsession because I had to start to, when I started to pull back and start to say first politely and I, I think what was my biggest downfall was that I was way too polite. Mm. If I had taken a very severe strong, strong, you know, stand and said, you know what, keep away from me and use some whatever harsh language, I would have been better suited for it. Mm. Um, the idea that, you know, you keep saying, you know, keep trying to make the other person understand saying, please don't, please don't is something that, that, that backfired for me. And uh, before I knew it, I was you know the and, and there are some people that can't handle rejection uh, that that's just the personality type mm -hmm. and i guess um, i'm paying the price for that so in that brief period when you said there was a bonding there was mm -hmm. a, there were, it was there was love i mean there was a commitment no there wasn't love there wasn't any commitment there was absolutely nothing at all i mean that's just a figment of imagination if you read the um, uh, the communication that has happened i think that's also in the bail of order it's it's fairly clear and evident um, and the learned judge has said, made a lot of observations based on the communication between the two parties, mm -hmm. saying, what the hell are you talking about? You're trying to get to him and he's saying no. Mm -hmm. So if you read that communication, say, which said, I'm sick and tired of this one-sided emotion, mm -hmm. then another one where you're asking for sex, I don't want to get into the details of yeah, that. It makes yeah. me, even today, I, it's traumatizing for me. Yeah. But the, the writing, I mean, the communication was very, very evident. In fact, so much so, I got so harassed that I went ahead and filed a um, couple of complaints sexual harassment case. I had gone to the cop station to find a restraining order and then the cop there told me that you, that, that doesn't fly in India. You don't have that provision like you have in America. So, how do you meet you? How do you meet you? Yes, so restraining order is not in our law. There is no law in our provision that you can tell someone that you leave me and forgive me. So, you write a pencil, that should be good enough. I had no um, idea, you know, one, one, till the time you get into this murky space, you're living in a bubble of saying everything is good, life is good, people are good, people are not so into this. I couldn't have imagined this 
kind of a scenario. But didn't, weren't you tempted? I mean, to when she was, you know, uh, trying to come close no, to... No, you know, what happens is... Um, asking openly for that. Um, uh, yes, of course, the temptation is there, but you also have to understand, uh, you know, um, uh, it, it starts with the flirtation and all of that. That's also always there. But, you know, you also, when you start sensing people like that, mm -hmm. that there is a certain, uh, certain blackness to them or darkness to them, then that's, that's always a bit worrying. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, especially, you know, relationships are not formed like that. Uh, you know, relationships are something that are very, very sacred because mm -hmm. you're talking about a long-term commitment in someone that you're going to spend the rest of their life with. Mm -hmm. Uh, that is something that you don't do. Uh, I've had my relationship and I've been fairly, fairly uh, uh, strong in those relationships in the sense I wanted to see them culminate, you know, culminate into marriage and, and I've, been a, I've been always been a bit of a romantic as far as that is concerned. So I must ask you here before we yeah. get back to the, yeah. uh, what happened in uh, your Mona case thing, uh, Mona Singh thing because you know, no, we were everybody wanted you all to be together. And I, I wanted to be with her. I think she was quite wonderful. She's a great artist. Uh, but I think we've, I, we were too young and we were different maybe sort of. I'm a very sedate social. She's a very social, bubbly sort of a person. She's a great girl. Um, uh, but I, I didn't think she wanted to be, uh, I think uh, the marriage was not on the, uh, I, you know, I'd on because her career was really, really growing great guns and all of that. Mm -hmm. And um, I think we were just two different people. That's it. She didn't want marriage. Um, in the sense, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. In the sense, he wanted to focus on a career. But you wanted to settle down. I wanted to settle down very quickly. <laughs> so, uh, just for whatever it's worth. Um, you know, she's a great girl. She's wonderful. She's still know. down the lane, still. I lane. know, I know, I know. She's somewhere close by. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. anytime you bump into her, anytime. I mean, we would say uh, socially high to each other. You know, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Whenever we meet at parties, there's yeah. no animosity or. I won't know. Absolutely not. Uh, never, no, uh, never. I don't think I can hack that with anybody. Uh, I think whoever I've dated and, and was in love with or had a relationship with, there can't be any animosity because um, I really wish them well. Because you love someone, you just want to... Did she call you in this hour of crisis? She couldn't have. Even if she tried, I won't really know because my, I didn't have my phones with me. Uh, there, are, there are, the, like I said, there are 2,500 messages on my WhatsApp oh. and I don't have any numbers. Your number also Bani gave me, otherwise I wouldn't have an idea mm -hmm. that you're trying to get in touch with me. Mm -hmm. So, um, once I get uh, the caller ID or you something, I calm down know. or yeah, yeah, sort yeah. it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I haven't been myself for the last few days. I've just been... Uh, I know, yeah, I can understand that. But yeah. we'll come to that very soon. But there's one other rumor which I wanted to clear with you is, are you dating at the moment anybody? No, I'm not dating anybody. Okay, because I have heard that you are dating Jain. No, no, no. very close to you. No, no, no. no. She's Bani's friend and we've met. And she's been, she's been again, like Pooja, a big pillar of support. Mm. You know, I was mentoring her in her career for sure because she would come for my... And that I've done with a lot there of... There were rumors. You, you oh, I didn't know that. Mm. I had no idea about that. Because again, if the rumors happened after I got incarcerated, I wouldn't know. Mm. I had no idea. But she's also a wonderful person and um, again stood by uh, like a rock. Yeah. yeah, yeah, she did. She came to the uh, court. Uh, police station. Uh, she police did. station she came yeah. quite a few times. She was crying. She was crying, yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, she just had said this to say, yeah, I can't imagine someone that goes out of the way, you know, to help so many people can actually uh, be in so much trouble. But I, I'll come back to this because I spoke to Bani, you know, when this whole thing happened and she said she this girl was continuously calling in front of her and she t tried to take, she also spoke to her once. So, tabhi unko lag gaya tha, she had told you to, you know, take a... Yeah, again... As a sister, she had that sixth sense. She had a sixth sense, yeah. She told me she came here and she said, you move back from here because I'm worried about her. Yaha se chalo. Yaha se chalo, chhodo do sab kuch, you come to stay with me. So, what will happen? Phone to him too? No, no, she said, she's Bani is very strong. I've been always a softie in the family. I've been the softest person in the entire Oberoi Khandan. Which is why, you know, everyone's worried about me. She said, you're landless. She took the calls and she sounded them off. And I said, don't be so harsh, Baba. Because Bani went ahead and Bani was very... Blasted her. Yeah, yeah. She said, stay away from my brother. Don't harass her. Don't trouble her. And... But did she at any point threaten that I will see her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She oh. told Bani also that. Achha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of times, lots of times. Mm -hmm. And there were messages of threat to my family, to my mother, to my father, through black magic. That through not black? black magic, that I will kill them. I have the power to kill people. Achha, th through her phone number only. Yeah, yeah those that yeah. is there in yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Why did I get so so shaken up? Was because I started to believe that there is uh, because my mom fell ill, and subsequently my dad fell ill. Then I had a back issue. Um, I was unwell. Uh, you know. So, I, in my mind, I started processing information very differently, saying, oh my God, this person really might have the power to be able to destroy my family. Mm -hmm. You uh, lost your confidence? I lost my confidence quite a bit uh, and I got very scared. 
extremely scared. I was running scared. I was, I thought I was going to pass out because every time I'm... You're constantly looking behind your shoulder? I was worried about my parents more than anything else. You're in Chandigarh alone? You're in Chandigarh and my mother is really suffering. So, um, um, so then I just started to, you know, really, really get very scared. So I would say, okay, I'll not, so I would tell Bani, no, no, I'll handle it, I'll handle it, I'll just oh. handle it softly, oh. I'll deflect it, I'll handle it softly. And I, I said, Kitne times did you have to do it? See, what, you would vanish, she'd say, okay, okay, goodbye, and then come back again. Then vanish, then six months later. Mm. Like, this was out of the blue for me, because my, my NC was in October. June, they came to pick me up. There's a gap of six months, and that has been a, clearly a pattern. You know. Your NC against her, which you yeah, had yeah, yeah. Uh, so many of them for a training yeah. order. Yes, yes. Uh, and they, they came to pick you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was, I was when I told the uh, cop also, I said, sir, what kind of justice is this? Because I'm the one who's, I've presented evidence of the of the nature of threats. Uh, I've said my the phone, the WhatsApp messages are there. They are clearly indicating, and there is also that clear indication of the messages that say. Uh, one sided, they say I want sex, they say all of those things, mm. despite and in spite. And they ran into quite a few pages, 12, 15 pages mm. of messages. Uh, despite all of that, um, you've gone ahead and uh, you come know, to say, fetch me. Yeah. And not just that, you're, <laughs> you've, I've been incarcerated, mm. which is a trauma that I don't wish it on my worst enemies. So, what do you Law will take its own course. I, I think something is amiss here, Vicky. Uh -huh. there's, there's, there's a need for change. And women will suffer for it because my mother suffered the most, my sister suffered, everyone that's associated with me suffered. So yeah, there's a need for it to change. Because you advocated... Uh, me too, yes. I, I'm, a, I'm a still a very strong advocate of mm. Me Too. You wrote some long piece, yes, I remember. Yes, I do. Because I believe in Me Too. So I have you seen it in TV industry? Have you, because you so much worked in TV industry. Yeah. You know so many film people yeah, because yeah. you associated with Band of Boys. So yeah. I mean, today the lines are blurred between yeah, Hollywood yeah. and television, and yeah. all yeah. of us are. Yeah. I see when I, I I was off TV for quite a few years. So when I was doing television, I think it was very clean because I. Uh, but I've heard. I've just there is only conjecture. My point as regards the Me Too was not about whether what I know. Mm. Um, was about fairness for both the sexes. Mm. No, should nobody should be sexually exploited, mentally exploited, mm. or any other way exploited or financially exploited. You were disturbed at some of the yeah I mean, complaints which are complaints coming. which were coming forward, and and um, that is what was bothering me. And I I said I'm, I'm a strong advocate for justice for anyone, male or female. Mm. So it was not really um, uh, so. I that's the blog I wrote, you know, and that's that's why the campaign for men too, because what I've heard um, in Taloja is unreal, brother. I had the support of likes of you and a lot of other people that stood by in my, my hour of need. But um, I still haven't gotten over the, f I am still gotten the confidence to be able to tell you the stories, the 600 cases in Taloja. I don't have the heart to tell you. Similar like you? Oh, worse than me. Worse than me. Mm. Worse. All inflicted by women? Women. Oh. For extortion. Give me my house. I can tell you one case of a boy who's 23 years of age and he has a small baby, infant baby. Mm. And um, uh, so someone, some their neighbor got them embroidered in some uh, this uh, something 376 to get their house. Like it? Uh, no, to s ask them to sell the house and give it to us. Oh. Yeah. And he had to do that. He sold off his house, and the uh, uh, the mother and the child, and he's the only breadwinner. Uh, no, have nowhere to go. And I've heard such stories that that tore me into pieces. Um, in he sold off the house and finally gave it to that woman. Gave it to that woman, and there is so the. So, Ravi Tanjil mein. Ravi Tanjil mein. Oh. Because these are uneducated people who don't understand that you need to get an affidavit. You need to because once you start giving money, it's the it's the classic case of extortion that just keeps going on and on and on. Oh. It doesn't stop there. There are many many stories, and I, like I said, um, I I when I moved out, I, the first thing that I said was, it ends with me. You know, whatever happens, happens, uh, but no man should ever go because which is why we are taking such a strong uh, case against uh, things like this. But when you landed up there, you must have also heard from them. I mean, to both sides, say either room. Yeah, five years. So one and a half what years, was your? Years. Sorry to ask you this, but yeah. what was your state of mind? And uh, what was? How were you coping up with the food? With the? I mean, sorry, yeah. but yeah, I know it's it's, know, it's the it's toilet facilities. No, no, it's it's. I mean, if you can't call it even facilities. I no, guess. there is no. You, it's an open. Uh, sort of a blue gutter sort of it looks almost resembles a gutter um, you uh, food is almost not edible so I went without food for the first few days uh, 
कुछ नहीं नो नथिंग आई वुड जस्ट हैव सम वाटर एंड इफ समबडी हैड अ बिस्किट आई वुड टेक दैट एंड आई डिडंट स्लीप फॉर थर्स थ्री फोर डेज बट आई थिंक आई गॉट द स्ट्रेंथ फ्रॉम द सपोर्ट दैट आई वाज गेटिंग आउटसाइड दैट देयर वर पीपल दैट वाज बिकॉज़ इन केसेस लाइक दिस यूजुअली पीपल जस्ट सो क्विक टू टेक स्ट्राइड्स बट आई थिंक व्हाटएवर हाउएवर माय बिहेवियर हैज बीन फॉर 20 इयर्स uh uh there were people that were kind enough to say that hey, this man is not capable or something like that and i newspapers were there so they would and i think after the fourth or fifth day i think the uh there were 92 inmates i i think um they started to um, really become fiercely protective about me for some reason and uh, then if somebody get got food from their house they would give it to me mm-hmm. saying karan bhai kha lo you know but you were not getting food from no nah, we were getting food but i couldn't eat it because it was This is really, it's really quite bad. Ah. I could barely so. And so my they were like mates, forcing you, coaxing you. Yes, mm. you need to survive for a, for to be able to, you know, you don't know what's going to happen. Mm. You need to survive. I did a lot of meditation though there. Mm. I I started writing my book um, uh, of my experiences there, and Vicky, I saw a lot of um, a lot of humanity within the prison walls. Mm. Way too much there were no stories like वो जैसे दिखाते हैं एक प्रिज़न आया तो चार दिन उसपे no 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 I was told that by the cops that we have to be have to be protective because we we are a celebrity, celebrity. and and they can attack you I didn't see any of that I saw food being shared with me I saw one was the incident which which again you know mm-hmm. some time you know I I cried a lot again because I was not sleeping and they could see that I was not sleeping at all because there was one sheet that so they piled up their sheets the one they we get two sheets one to sleep and one to you know cover yourself mm. so three four of them got together and put those sheets down and they covered them I had two clothes because I wasn't thinking I didn't I wasn't prepared for this I had just two t-shirts which I would wash and wear and uh, they folded up their clothes to make a pillow for me uh, and I was like oh my god what am I seeing here yeah outside there's a doggy dog world everyone's trying to uh, you know and here i'm seeing people that are just going out the way to uh, to make me comfortable and help me survive lou is very very bad you <laughs> so you stay in that smell the all day long the water is a luxury even uh, inside this thinking yeah it is thinking all the time so imagine i'm staying here and there is a open door here and you're doing everything here in the open hmm. there are no doors and it's open the smell comes in all day long and 92 people when they use a loo on a regular basis you know so they don't clean uh, we have to clean it ourselves so there's not enough water to get by so there is not sufficient water is not sufficient water no there isn't so one of the things that i do have in mind is after went to is prison reforms that i want to address to for the humanity of it in the in the, the, in the jail yeah yeah mm. so because you know um, a prison should be about reform and rehabilitate it should be about are these few donations going to help in this country where uh, we somebody want to put the first stone i want to stone. pass the first stone simple like in mentu why is it important to me because it's important for men in our country mm. and it's important that it this doesn't become an extortion racket going forward mm. you know whatever people do they have sex they have relationships they have whatever it is rape is a very heinous crime I remember I didn't eat food for 2 days after Nirbhaya. Mm. Is the law so I don't know what it is that you can compare that that's rape. Mm. That's rape. Mm. Not getting your way is not rape. Mm. It is it is bizarre. If this doesn't change we are going to create a very unequ- uh, uh, unstable equilibrium between the sexes. Imagine every man on the street will be running scared. He'll want a lawyer to have a conversation to flirt or to even get have, have sex with someone. Hmm. Where is it going to end? And if and wives, are, husbands are going to be scared of wives, men are going to be scared of women. It doesn't end. All we are saying is, just create some amendments in the law so that it doesn't become a blind extortion racket. Hmm. You know, that's pretty much it. So yeah. So did you know that it was coming and you were going to be soon set uh, free, or could you hmm. see it coming, or what hmm. was it like? I, I saw. आपने क्या सोच लिया था अंदर? कुछ तो सोचा होगा। I um, I'm sure you had support and these people were coming to meet you. Yeah. Uh, Pooja. They they were they were the Pooja Anveshi. was a big bani yeah. but Anvesh she couldn't come because in the jail only sister is allowed and uh, mm-hmm. Pooja is allowed. Mm-hmm. Uh, but Pooja couldn't come because no so only blood is allowed. My dad and mom came. Mm-hmm. So only these three people could come. So they would be bring uh, came and I would also pick up a very false sense of strength in front of them because mm-hmm. I didn't want my parents to suffer on account of my suffering. Mm-hmm. So and the you know and the the prisoners would get together and say bhai aaj पता नहीं चलना चाहिए उनको कि आप टूटे हुए हो सो दे वुड स्टार्ट प्रिपेयरिंग मी मेंटली यू नो सेइंग 
don't don't let your father mother know because they will suffer more not mm -hmm. knowing what you're going through mm -hmm. here and they'll start to so i would go say hi that was good everything is good mm -hmm. i to present that face but i would come back and howl mm -hmm. you know uh, you know mm -hmm. and uh, my father said something which was very poignant and i didn't i didn't react to it that time he said you know your grandmother sent four of her sons to die in the war because in the 65 71 war four brothers army navy air force and naval aviation went into the and that time you know the presumption was that if you go into war you're not going to come back alive and we fought to build this country and i am today i'm shaken up my, father, my grandfather's inspector general police punjab police my great grandfather was in the forces he said this is not the nation we built and this is something that that breaks me that that we are allowing so this to continue so your family they have gone to war yeah yeah all of them hmm. 65 71 um, 7 uh, 62 they were all war heroes decorated war heroes okay four they brothers died in the war? no 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 they they came back alive the idea was that that time the presumption all of them came back alive they're all living they're all uh, i mean as good as when you send them that time the presumption was mare yeah. to mar gaya marega ha because it was ready for the worst huh? yeah and that's also one of my thing my dad told me that you know look in 65 and 60, so he would tell me whatever five minutes he had you know in 62 i was getting people were dying around me but i held on i i came back alive you're going to come back alive mm. all of that uh, something that he would tell me to give me strength your parents have gone back to jandigarh they have gone back yeah, yeah 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 my dad was not well and he has this regular treatment that needs to go he needs yeah, to go yeah, for yeah. yeah so so but uh, they gone back at least relieved yes 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 so now what is the road ahead i mean in this particular case okay. i mean she plotted her own attack and yeah. she i mean that was ridiculous that and that right. also in lokanwala i mean yeah, yeah. the local police and yeah it is bizarre but that also tells you the mental shenanigans of a human being that's functioning like that because if you're actually wishing for someone's misery irrespective of what um, you know transpired between the two of you that tells you that you know um, uh, that's not a good healthy mindset mm. and to us normal people don't think like that you have to have a criminal mindset to even design a fake attack mm. uh, like that on yourself and of course my mother was very very worried because um, she would keep telling me if someone can attack themselves because that's the extreme length you can go mm, to mm. how are you safe mm. you know uh, so she would not allow me to get down the building and those are the times and i think bani vicky would tell me bani would tell me that you know vicky is trying to get in touch with you and i was going to because i would see my mom and i would step out of the house where are you going mm. i said just go to the kitchen you know go to the house mm. that's not going to happen and uh, this was during after i came out uh -huh. because of that that fake uh -huh. attack She was, she was petrified because yeah. her logic was if someone can attack themselves. Yeah. So the moment they know that you're out. Yeah. The next attack will be on you. They may just unleash a. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're just thinking how they are thinking. Mm. You're only thinking about that, and that uh, was a trauma that I would see constantly. I would see her crying, and that's why I was not available on the phone. And I was like, I can't deal with this. You know, mm. once they're out of here and they're okay, then, you know. But Pooja has been out. Oh, Pooja is a bahu bali. There is no other word for her. She's a Bahubali, and she is the best friend every person on the planet should wish for. Mm. She stood like the rock of Gibraltar. Mm. She she said, "No matter what, I'm with my friend." And you know, Pooja is a very honest, upright person. She'll stand for what is just and what is true. Yeah, her daughter is making a debut. She could have yes. devoted the time there. Yes, and you know, and she was, going uh, with her on the set, or or you yeah. know, trying yeah. to yeah. Uh, dollar up and all yes. that. Yes, but she didn't go there. Her son has has come down from the U.S. He's studying there. See, there was Manik was being, you know, is was all by herself, himself in 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 this one in Goa. The house, it was just just left, dropped everything, and she said, "I'm here." In Goa, Manik uh, in Goa, you know, Pooja stay there, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, so he's okay. Yeah, uh -huh. he was there. Her fiance. Yeah, so she's Manik was staying in Goa, and yeah. she was all the time advocating. Yeah, advocating there, yeah. and then Manik would come here as a pillar of support for her. Mm -hmm. So she left. She dropped everything. Mm. you know and uh, so uh, i wish everyone and everyone on this in this world gets a friend like her you know i'm sure yeah yeah the world would be a better place they know that you know there are people like that that yeah, fight for you obviously yeah yeah so i hope the world becomes a better place in so many other we we've, we've got to try vicky we've got to not give up hope like uh, someone asked me uh, you know is it have you come back better i said no i've come back gentler if at all because uh, uh, one of the things is that well? not yet not yet i'm sleeping about 2 to 1/2 hours mm. but i'm hoping to get there 2 and 1/2 hours is a luxury right now for me mm. but i'll get there i'm, I'm very resolute about that 
you used to sleep before eight hours, ten hours? Or I used to. I sleep at around ten, ten o'clock, and I'm up at around five thirty. Ah. And this has been going on for fifteen years. Uh, ah. I'm a fairly asocial person, mm. and I would sleep like a baby. Mm. I'll say, oh, ten o'clock, tuck, tuck. Mm. It used to be the joke in my circles. Saying Oberoi is, <laughs> he's like so work is now going to be important. Tell me, Karan, what is the plan? Web so shows I have become very common. Yeah. Uh, I heard you are loving producing a movie. Yes, the what, movie. What's that whole chart right now, which so, uh, Karan is going to deep dive into? So one is the uh, my film uh, is ready for release. In fact, the tie-up was going to happen on Monday, and I got in classes on Saturday for the release plan. Mm. So that so I'm going to go back and attack that. Um, it's called Strawberry Point. It's a uh, India's first single actor uh, uh, thriller. And uh, it's in two languages, English and Hindi. So that's my first. Uh, Have you thought of anybody in the cast? No, the film is shot. Huh. So who is it? I am in it. Oh. I produced and acted in it. Achha. It's ready for release. The okay. film is completely done. Point? Strawberry Point. Okay. And uh, it's already been picked up by a global agency, global mm. sales agency, for international representation, the English version. Mm -hmm. So it's already started doing the, the, the rounds yeah. uh, of festivals and uh, oh. other things. The Hindi version we're going to release in India. Okay. So that's my first priority. I have to finish this book, um, so I'm very which, you started. which I've started writing in prison. So that's one of them. Then there are a lot of offers that have come in for um, um, for telling my story or my oh, the book story. Mm. That have happened, and there are web shows. So there have been a couple of them already. Uh, Don't tell me you got an uh, offer from Big Boss as well. Uh, no, not from Big Boss, but someone some, someone told me that they might. I'll say I'll cross the bridge when I get to it. Uh, you you know? might. I don't really know, Vicky. I don't know how I feel at that point of time. Uh. You know, I'm not. My, but web shows, I'm definitely doing. There's two of them that I've already confirmed. Okay. So they. Those so you're are, acting in them. I'm acting in them. Yes. Then I'm producing uh, a bunch of stuff. So one of the shows that is pr approved already, um, um, uh, that process had stopped. The Bible is ready. It's a big, huge, huge show on one of the OTT platforms. Mm. So I get into production for that immediately. And then there's a lot of. Uh, there's so no going back to television. <sighs> never say never, but um, mm. the kind of content that's out there, um, one will have to be very, very. Jussie was a great content, mm. which is why I went there in the first place. Mm. So find that, then I might. So it's never about TV or any medium. It's about what are you making. You're open to acting in films as well. Yes, yes, absolutely. Which is why the starter, or the starting of Strawberry yeah. Point, which kicks off. I'm hoping I'll call you, Vicky. You must come for it. Have a look at it. It's uh, I'm going to have. Will. I'm going to start time. having. Uh, Pleasure is mine. Yeah. And again, the yeah. pleasure is mine that you. you have met me thank and accommodated me. Thank you so much, Vicky. Thank you for all the love and support. And really. Thank you so much, Karan, for being thank on Spotboy. Thank you.